once I started to hear that mix in Dolby Atmos, it made me feel like I was in that three-dimensional way right inside of a tornado. I just love that environment to experience being immersed. Dolby Atmos, I was really floored by it because there's a lot that's happening overhead. When that trailer lands on top of the actors, all this debris starts to hit it and the tornado passes overhead. It's really that three-dimensional sound that is telling you the story of spatially what's happening. Hold on, hold on, hold on! We worked so hard with the design of like what that tornado is doing is filled with sounds of animal noises and things that just give it a voice. Oh, she's perfect! She's gorgeous! I got so excited, it transported me. I kept saying, wow. <laughs> Steven Spielberg was telling me one of the biggest challenges is getting the weather right. That high dynamic range that you can get with Dolby Vision was very important for us. In this movie, you have characters who are going through very intense experiences, but you also have to see what's going on, what they're looking at, and all of that is very much at a different exposure level. <laughs> Clouds are very hard to capture in a way that honors the beauty of them. And I was really amazed. We were seeing so much detail within the shadows and the highlights. I felt like I was seeing individual raindrops in our VFX as well. And it was to the point of detail that I, I worried it's gonna catch some mistake that we made. We are professional tornado wranglers. Yeah! Kids, do not try this at home. Storm chasing is incredibly awe-inspiring but it's something no one should go and actually do. <laughs> and uh, if you go to a Dolby Cinema screening, it's the closest you can get to actually being immersed in that experience and the safety of your seat as something quite fun and awe-inspiring. So I do hope people do watch it in that kind of environment. It was like seeing it for the first time. It was, it was really remarkable.